Bowser up from Houston. Uh, I've been working for Governor Perry, supporting him since 1988 when he ran for agitation right after he became a Republican. I was in charge of his campaign in Harris County when he was not ready to get shot shot from the lieutenant governor. And then the rest is history. So I am excited to be here and be part of this event today. Looking forward to another victory next year. Hi, my name is Gene Lund. I go by Stretch. I'm down here in Austin to help Governor Perry get back and get reelected again for governor. And it's exciting to be here. It's always exciting to be a supporter to my governor. And I always enjoy doing trips with him. And I'm looking forward to another good four years. Can you describe Governor Perry in one word? If I had to describe him in one word, I would say courageous. He's standing up against things that are bad for our country, and he has the courage to stand up for right. He is definitely courageous. My name is Barkat Ali. I'm from Dallas, Fort Worth. Uh, Governor Perry is, is a courageous man. Uh, very brave man. I know him since 20 years. I've been his loyal supporter for the last more than 20 years. Uh, and uh, for me, he's, he's, he's the man. He's the man to run this place, this state office, the governor's office. There's nobody out there better than him. I think uh, he's going to win, I'm pretty sure. I mean, he's got a great support from a lot of uh, uh, people here in the state. He's the man who has done a lot of work. And because of that, that's the only state in the United States of America, the state of Texas, has a surplus budget. So he must have done something right. That's my belief. I mean, he's the CEO of our state. CEO has, has, has a surplus budget. That's the way I believe it. I'm a businessman, so I believe it that way. He, he's, he's a man. He's the man. Thank you. My name is Deborah Bysinger, and I'm here at the uh, summit today representing the San Jacinto Republican women. We're very excited about the future of Rick, Rick Perry's campaign and look forward to uh, supporting him. Hello, my name is Dan McDonald. I'm from Travis County. Governor Perry's been the most pro-life governor that we've had in Texas, and I've really appreciated the uh, bills that he's pushed, the bills that he's signed, and, and the bills that he's vetoed, and the reasons that he's done those things. I'm supporting uh, Rick Perry in, in his re-election bid because of what he has been able to do for the state of Texas and maintain our status quo, uh, keep our liberties where they should be, and what we hope for for the rest of America as well. Uh, he has a great presence. Um, it's the type of presence that uh, is forceful, and uh, I support him in his, in, in his endeavors as he has uh, sought to make sure that uh, liberties are in place for our children and grandchildren. Uh, my name is Susie Kamak, and I'm from Hunt, Texas. In words to describe the governor? Oh, there's not just one. There's he's he's much larger than one word. Um, one. I, 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 <laughs> successful. Wonderful. Uh, <laughs> successful. Success. Yes. Wonderful. Okay. Yes. There's just too many. Enduring. <laughs> Enduring. Okay. Uh, the Inter pride. Of, the pride of Texas. Pride of Texas. It's more than one word. <laughs> He's a the Texan Valley Valley Republican group, and we feel very strongly about supporting our community. Oh, wow. Great. And we're proud to be a part of the school test. And we're proud to be Texans, and thank God for it. Hi, I am Bob Shepard, and this is my wife, Janelle. We're from Weatherford, Texas, in Parker County, and we're here to support Governor Rick Perry and his uh, re-election. Yes, and we are old, old friends, have known him for years, but he hasn't ever changed. He's still the same guy we knew back 35 years ago. But we're following him now on Facebook and Twitter and keep up with all the updates that he puts on there himself. Can you believe that? He puts them on there himself. Well, I think and Governor Perry uses Twitter. No, he's... Okay. He's... Yes, he is tweeting. But anyway, we love following him on all the new media stuff, even though we're old friends. He came uh, in two occasions, uh, one in, um, in San Antonio with a picnic, and we made for him a biscuit of him, and he liked it very much, and he was a lot of fun. And he also uh, attended another event uh, in, in another place. And uh, we've we known him for a long time, and uh, we, we've been with him all the time. What's your name? Manny Cavazos. And where are you from? Uh, originally from Moreto, but I'm living here in Austin.
lost. So why did you come today? To support the governor. And what, what issues are important to you that? Well, I just think that since he's been the governor, he's done a great job for the state on the economic side. And that's, for me, that's primary. Mm -hmm. And if there was one word to describe the governor, what would you use for that one word? Effective. Hi, I'm Jane Briggs, and I'm from San Antonio. And uh, I just love Governor Perry. I think he's done a great job for the state. I've been a supporter of his uh, since um, the early 2000s. Um, I've um, I first met him uh, at an event at a um, home in Terrell Hills. And, um, you know, I just think the world of him. I think he's doing a great job for Texas. I always brag about how well Texas is, is doing uh, as compared to the rest of the country. And I think it's great that he was able to say no to Obama and refuse the funds uh, for the unemployment insurance to say that, you know, Texas is the role model for this country. Um, my name is Brianna Becker. I'm with the Young Conservatives of Texas, and I'm also a student here at UT. Oh. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Houston originally. My parents are born and raised Houstonians, and so am I. So why do you support the governor? I support the governor because he stands for the conservative principles I believe in and that I fight for on my college campus. He stands for limited government, he stands for the life of the unborn, which is most important to me. And he stands for low taxes and keeping Texas at the top of the nation and keeping our great heritage alive. Well, and if there's one word you'd use to describe the governor, what would it be? That's tough. Um, so many come to mind. Conservative is what we definitely want to see. Devoted, principled, just an all-around great guy.